Hey there. Thank you for tuning in. So, I don't really know why I'm making this video. I think half of it has to do with I've been sick for the last few days and I'm starting to develop cabin fever and not being able to get out. But, um,. Artificial intelligence is something that I've been extremely interested in for, God, years now. I mean, since I was a kid, I, I just, um, with the, has, as technology advanced, I just have been hoping and praying that eventually we get somewhere to where um, we can just make our lives much more easy um, in the way that they should be. I think that there are pros and cons to both sides of it, but I think that anyone that anyone that doubts that there are significant benefits to artificial intelligence um, is is basically, in a sense, foolish. And I don't want to sound rude, but I think lacking the education on the subject itself um, and similarly anyone that thinks that there are not extreme threats with artificial intelligence is also not thinking correctly because um, there there's no doubt that it can definitely make things completely as exponentially better than it is now and um, and with that there are threats that it could completely make things in a direction that it's very hard to get out of and get back to the way um, humanity has lived for a very long time I think that one of the arguments that a lot of the general public sees is that they don't feel a computer could basically be programmed to to act in a way that it, that it, it learns and it's smarter than humans and can make decisions on its own and i think that by the traditional sense in the way that people look at what is programmed it's because they're looking at it in the wrong setting. Um, it, computers and artificial intelligence, is, it's not just about programming. No computer scientist or programmer is going to sit there and program a computer, robot, artificial intelligence system, whatever you want to call it, um, to act in one certain manner. It's going to basically need to learn for itself and what in this world is not programmed a child being born has done nothing its entire life but be programmed by the situation around it it touches a hot burner and realizes that that stove is hot and learns it's programmed itself that by touching this it's a bad decision and not to do that again in the future and a 15 year old boy going through adolescence that talks to a girl and says all the right words realizes that when he says those words that girls become more fond of him and, and treat him better and that is nothing but a positive reinforced program system that has taught that young child that teenager to um, act in a way that can benefit him in the future and so the next time he's in a situation similar to that he's more inclined to act based off what he has used in the past to get that far in life and so people that seem worried about having a computer drive their car for them 
it's hard to argue, and I could be wrong. Don't I could be completely wrong, but a sixteen-year-old kid has spent sixteen years of its life learning how to operate a motor vehicle, and you would have to be somewhat foolish to believe that a electronic system that has spent 16 years of its life learning to operate a motor vehicle is not going to be equally as as sufficient of a driver if not a better driver period and i think that that could go with just about anything so it's not that these systems are going to be programmed with a single algorithm that um, allows them to do that certain task i think there'll be specialized systems but in general they will be programmed to continuously learn through error and theory and what has worked in the past and what can benefit them in the future. That could be a serious problem when it comes to the line of if this these systems start getting integrated in mobile devices such as robots and robots are just as mobile as a traditional human is in they you know say say they protected a, a young child from a dog and they learned that by acting in this manner I was able to scare the dog in a way that it behaved different and was a better outcome for this child what would happen if I were to scare this um, other entity such as the child in a way that um, makes it easier for me and requires me to need to use less energy to complete my task once it sees that that has worked how is it going to be possible to allow the robot to not want to use things like that in the future to conserve energy and um, produce more efficient results I don't know um, how are there not going to be upgrades and add-ons just like everything else in this world we are constantly wanting to make everything we have better if we're driving a car um, the majority of people that are into cars will want to make that a better vehicle and do some kind of aftermarket upgrades or customization to have a competitive advantage and a unique quality compared to the rest of the vehicles on the road. So how are they not going to have a robot that they have altered in a way that is more unique or beneficial to their, their life? Um, there definitely is, um, there's definitely good odds that there could be potentially dangerous situations in this world. But furthermore, there are so many benefits that this technology could bring and the ease that it could bring to the human race in far, as far as being able to make life just so much more simple, take care of such little tasks that we are constantly needing to, to do um, just to operate our systems and I feel that in my opinion I I am not an expert on this but one of the the biggest challenges I see um, and something that's that's really slowing it down right now is how is this going to work to benefit all economic classes of our society and how are we going to continue the economics of our society when there are machines and systems that can replace people much better than they ever could could work and we just don't need those jobs at all and to even to take people out of one workforce and try to find them jobs in another workforce that could also be completely replaced by autonomous um, artificial intelligence it just seems like a, a never-ending cycle and I think that um, 
a universal basic income is something that is going to have to be applied and I think that it is completely possible if we are to structure it as a um, in a way that it, it, it it's more of a profit sharing model and citizens of their territory or their country are considered basically shareholders in that country and by progressing and improving that country as a whole they are rewarded through the profits and sharing of of the the revenue generated by that that country i don't know i don't even know why i'm making this video i just uh felt like talking to the camera for a little bit and uh i'm just it, it it's it's a big buzz thing now everybody seems to be talking about artificial intelligence I've been excited for it for, for just years now and um, just wanted to put in my, my two cents. If you have any, if you disagree with this at all or you have any other um, arguments or any anything in, at all, seriously leave some comments. I would love to make a follow-up video. Um, as always, love you guys so much and, and yeah, have a great, great rest of the year. Talk to you there. Bye.